the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We enter to the Holy Church with all respect and honor. And we have to know that we are not going to the bench, but we are going to the heavenly kingdom. That is why the priest opens the divine liturgy with this prayer. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. So divine liturgy happens in heaven. And directly from heaven, we pray in peace for the peace. All the people and the priests pray in peace. And for the peace, the peace from above, the peace of the whole world. And then we pray for salvation. Not because peace is more important than the salvation, but because we can't get our salvation without peace. We can't love, love without peace. And we can't do anything without love. We can't enter to the church without love. St. Paul said, And though I have the gift of prophecy, and understand all mysteries and all knowledge and though I have the faith so that I could remove mountains but have not love I am nothing without love we can't do anything in peace and for peace we start and then we pray for salvation we pray for our father and metropolitan or bishop who we pray and do everything by his blessing and the prayers. Also we pray for civil authorities. We pray for all places and the faithful who are living in. What sums everything up is the last prayer. Help us, save us, have mercy on us and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That is the great litany. In a small litany, we repeat asking in peace, and we just say the conclusion, and in every litany, the great and the small, we ask for the intercessions of Virgin Mary and all the saints. When we live in peace, we are invited to commend ourselves and each other and all our life in Christ our God. Amen. Amen.